Hi, I'm Mike Gohanian, Client Technology Specialist from Dell. Today I want to talk about uh, something we want to talk a lot about, uh, your mouse and keyboard. In particular, I'm going to talk about the Dell Premier Wireless Mouse and Keyboard, uh, the KM7321W to be specific, this one here. Um, first of all, you say, you know, mouse and keyboard, you know, what about that? But you did say something about uh, multi-device. What do I mean by multi-device? Um, well, it means just that it can connect to multiple devices, you know, and the question would be, well, why do I need to connect to multiple devices? Uh, it may be, you know, a scenario that you're at work and you've got to set up your desktop and maybe go to a conference room and you want to take the mouse and maybe even the keyboard into the conference room and connect to the PC that's there. Uh, but for most people, it's more of a uh, home office um, type of si situation. Uh, like I've got set up here, I've got um, the mouse and keyboard connected to uh, my desktop here with the, uh, the monitor um, on, the, on the system itself, and I'm working here. And then maybe I want to connect to my work PC, right? And maybe I want to plug my work PC into the monitor, but I still want to use this mouse and keyboard. I don't want multiple mice and keyboards laying around my house. I just want one. Uh, so on this mouse and keyboard, I, I simply can sit here and take the button and select and move it to my uh, second PC, PC number two. So you now you can see I'm connected over here. Um, on the keyboard, and the same thing. I can tell the keyboard I'm PC number one. Now I'm going to tell them I'm on PC number two. So now I'm typing over here. Now the way I've got it set up is this mouse allows you to connect um, one through uh, radio frequency um, uh, toggle. So it's that little USB connection that you plug into the back of your system. Then I have up to two more PCs or two more devices, I should say, that you can connect up through uh, Bluetooth. And believe it or not, most notebooks come with Bluetooth uh, in it. You may have never used Bluetooth in your, in your notebook. Um, most of them do have Bluetooth. Uh, so I've got it sitting here connected to a, a Windows 10 device. But then the question may be, well, what about other devices? Maybe all you know, my devices aren't uh, Windows. You know, what if I'm a Mac user, right? Well, it works with Mac and just as much as it works with Windows. I even plugged it into a, or attached it through Bluetooth to an iPad and, and it worked. Um, what about you Linux users? Yep, if you want to maybe use a Red Hat and use an Ubuntu, uh, it works with that. Um, but, you know, think about what you have in your house. Like if you've got younger kids that are in school, right? A lot of times they have Chromebooks, right? So it's just Chrome and, and uh, Android. Uh, so I've got over here actually a Chromebook, which is another scenario. Your kid comes home and says, I want to use the mouse and keyboard and the monitor. So I'm going to tell this to go to device number three, which I've got over here. And now I'm going to go ahead and wake up the Chromebook. And now I'm connected to the Chromebook. I want to come back to my PC. I'm going to simply take it back over here to PC number one. Uh, so really cool, right? Multiple devices I can do there. You saw how easy that was. Easy on the keyboard as well to tell which device that you want to go to. Uh, so that's what I mean by multi-device. It's a lot more handy than you, than you would think. Uh, the second part I talked about is Premiere. You know, what makes a Premiere mouse and keyboard? Well, one from an aesthetic standpoint and a, and a quality of build. If I take a look at this keyboard itself, you know, it's a really nice keyboard. It's got, you know, all the keys on here, including your uh, numeric keypad. Um, it's kind of like a, this brushed silver um, on here, and it's surprisingly heavy. It's got some, some heaviness to it, and there's no flex in this. It's really strong and sturdy. The keys themselves are full-size keys, and they have a lot of travel. And, and when it, someone says travel in a key, that means that kind of how far it depresses down. So it's got a really nice feel to it. Uh, the mouse itself, right, um, it's hard to tell in the video, but this is kind of like a, a textured rubber here, kind of a gripping type of rubber at the bottom, ergonomic to your hand. Uh, the wheel itself has um, kind of rubber components to it, and you can feel your clicks as you're, you're uh, scrolling through on it. We also have some buttons on here, right? And so two programmable buttons here, and even the wheel clicks left or right that you can program. And, you know, I get it, right? You know, it's time to say you, you can program these things and you'll never do it, right? I gotta go figure out how to get into Windows and program my mouse and keyboard. But one of the things nice that, that Dell does have is, and it comes with it, is the uh, Dell multi-device, or I'm sorry, the Dell peripheral manager. The Dell Peripheral Manager makes it really, really simple for anybody to customize your mouse and keyboard. Like here, um, what I've got a picture is, is, the, is the mouse and customizing the uh, mouse. I can, the side view, those two buttons. And you've got over here kind of actions. They got preset actions 
and they got actions that you can go ahead and customize. So what I've done um, is kind of neat. I've, I've uh, created the first button. I made it a calculator, right? So I simply click it. Look at that. Calculator comes up. I sit under the mirror keypad and hit away. The second button, what is another function I like? I like closing down things. So any application I'm, I'm on, simply press the other button and it closes it down. You can make it whatever you want, right? Um, you know, hey, if I'm, I'm here at a, a, a website, I've created the, the back and forth that take me forward and backwards. So if I want to go forward, you know, I'd say I go here on a website and I'm like, oh, I don't want that. I want to go back. I click back. I want to go back to where I was forward. So a whole host of things that you can customize in it. The other thing to it is it talks about DPI. And DPI dots per inch. A lot of times you hear this in mouse, and you'll hear people go, you know, it's got 4,000 DPI, which this mouse does, right? Um, the bigger number doesn't always mean better. You know, dots per inch is how much it's reading on, on a movement. The higher the DPI, the faster you can cover space on, on a screen. So if I go over here in Display Manager, I can actually set the settings. So I can go all the way up to 4,000 DPI. And what you'll notice when I go 4,000 DPI, I barely move this mouse and it travels all the way across the screen. If I take it and set it to uh, say 1,000 DPI, you can see it takes me a couple ups and downs on here. Personally, I like it somewhere around um, 1,600 to 2,400. I think that's a nice distance, but again, how much workspace you have, what's your personal preference? That's what you get when you talk about a premier multi-device mouse and keyboard. It's customized to you. Again, my name is Mike Ohanian, Client Technology Specialist from Dell with the Dell Premier Multi-Device Wireless Mouse and Keyboard, the KM7321W.